So hello everyone. Um, this is a probably brief video on demand here and it is about multi-crew experience. For those of you that don't know, uh, multi-crew experience is a software that uh, you can get for Xplain as well as uh, FSX prepared and it allows you to have a virtual sort of co-pilot um, and you can give that co-pilot commands um, yeah spoken commands I basically. okay so um, yeah I have to turn off the, the recognition here because otherwise this thing would probably start doing all kinds of stuff now multi crew experience um, when you install it and that's for both simulator worlds um, can be quite chatty <laughs> to say the least and uh, I don't really like that and there are other people out there obviously that do not like that as well so um, someone has asked me to show how you can um, yeah how you can make motor experience quiet um, the, well the way this works is every airplane no matter whether it's X-Plane or, or FSX, if it's one of the supported airplanes and the IXCG 737 that we're seeing here is now a supported aircraft. In the last versions of, my, of uh, multi crew experience they actually do have uh, the IXCG in there. And uh, the way this works is uh, when you start this software, this is in, in Xplane, this is a plugin. In uh, FSX, it's uh, a, D a module, a DLL that uh, gets installed and then uh, you start the software. Um, so the standard settings are um, quite chatty. So they, they tell you everything from every single step that they do. And uh, not only that, but we have also different voices and uh, <laughs> one of the voices I just put them on because um, yeah is Dieter. Dieter is uh, supposed to be a German he probably is German uh, whoever has spoken this um, but they're trying to do the kind of uh, very German sounding way of speaking English and uh, tell you the truth it's awful I hate it <laughs> it really sounds strange uh, to to my ears um, now I, anyway uh, but I thought well let's get Dieter and uh, give you an idea of how it looks like when when motor crew experience is as at its chattiest um, basically so uh, the way this works in in uh, multi crew experience is that when you have a supported aircraft they actually have created flows okay so there's a number of flows after landing flow after takeoff flow approach flow approach procedure before start flow and so on and so forth the one that is uh, relevant for us now is the cockpit preparation flow so what I'm going to do is now I'm activating recognition again got it recognition lights on yeah, and this is one of the problems with this. Um, and now I'm going to tell Dieter. Dieter, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to tell Dieter now that he should do cockpit preparation. Cockpit preparation. Getting started. Parking brake set. Battery selected on. Beacon lights on. Navigation, lights, switched on, checking, engine, fire detection. Emergency lights, arm, fuel, left, forward, fuel, pump, on, APU. Now you can already see how this is every single step he's, APU. he's, he's talking and uh, imagine you're a um, so starter you're, on IRS, on mode. You're going is set to nav IRS to mode. <laughs> is set to nav. <sighs> Imagine you want to prepare that plane. You want to talk to Watson ATC or whatever. It's just impossible because this thing is align IRS now. <sighs> is uh, talking all the time, and uh, it's not very realistic either. 
that flight controls switch A and B selected on spoiler switch A and B engaged alternate flaps switch off <laughs> yeah it's 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 not realistic it's as simple as that your damper activated audio on normal E F I on normal I R S nav set on normal utility bus emergency lights arm seatbelt warning lights selected on no smoking signs switched on checking window heat power window heat on hydraulic pump on hydraulic pump switched on electrical pumps on pump no. switched off no German pilot in his right mind would say hydraulic. <laughs> Electrical pumps. Two pump turned off. Okay, cancel. Flow. Thank you. I also love it when he uh, says jawohl. Um, anyway, yeah, I prefer uh, British voices uh, to tell you the truth. But anyway, so that was Dieter at his best. Um, jawohl. <laughs> Bingo, can't do better. Okay, no, that's enough now. <laughs> Dieter. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you now how you get uh, Dieter to do his job without uh, telling us every single step along the way. So, um, you basically, you open up the uh, multi-crew experience menu and um, you go to more options on the first tab here and then you go to Enable nagging, I turn that off. I can hear mild insults, I turn that off. And that's the most important one. Talks a lot, you turn that off. Ah, in next plane I can't turn, turn it off. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I wonder if that's a bug. <laughs> In theory, you can probably do it via the config file because um, all these settings are in the config file. And uh, yeah, so for the next time, I could probably turn it off. So, where's the talks a lot thing? That's in the user interface. Now, what's it called? FO behavior. Options, features. Checklist, mechanic, let's see, talk. Uh, not sure which setting that is. Uh, that, that you can read that in the. You can read it up in in the manual, uh, somewhere in there. It probably has a setting which affects the talks a lot uh, switch, and you can turn it off. And next time you start uh, multi-core experience, um, you will have that turned off as well. So I'm not sure which setting it is. Uh, it doesn't seem to be named the same way. Anyway, that's one way of configuring things. But even if you have that on, um, that's no big deal because the really important bit is the following. In the... So let me show you that again slowly. So you go to the second tab, Command. Then you click on Vox Script because these are these scripts, these procedures. And then you go basically to every single procedure that you have, but uh, I'm going to take the cockpit preparation procedure again. I'm going to edit it and you don't have to edit anything in the command things. The only thing you need to do is turn off verbose because the verbose flag is what causes it to comment on every single step it's doing or that data is performing. Okay, So you turn that off, you press save and that's it. That's all it is. So if I go here now and I'm selecting cold and dark again, I say apply settings. So we'll bring the we'll bring the airplane back into the initial state. And uh, now I'm going to uh, ask Dieter to do the cockpit preparation again. So I have to turn on the mic for that. Cockpit preparation. Will do, Kapitän. I think you can see the difference. 
which is quite striking, isn't it? You started the APU right now. The starter active now. Yeah. APU. Mm, have to be careful. I sh should actually use this. Uh, there's a, a, a button that um, prevents it from recognizing. It's uh, thought to be used for ATC, but in X-Plane, it's actually it can be used to talk while it's doing things without um, align IRS now. Yeah, I think this procedure is not quite quite 100% the way it looks. Um, I probably have to go through. There is a newer version of uh, Multicro Experience out, but um, I think you can see the difference already. I might have to go through the script and check a few things because, uh, yeah, it shouldn't really do anything on the alternate flaps and it should have uh, put both IRSs. And then you see this message. Um, that's usually a sign that something in the script file, in the Vox script file, uh, is a command that it doesn't recognize. Um, could be that in the latest version of Multicrew that has been ironed out. Check oxygen your side. So stick shakers. Stall warning and things like that. I've only got two hands. <laughs> Well now, uh, without uh, going through the whole script now, uh, this is basically how you do it. From a completely nerving, chatty uh, detail, we get to a co-pilot that uh, does his work and just at the end of the procedure, at the beginning and at the end of a procedure or a Vox script, it will usually say something like uh, performing corporate preparation and then corporate preparation complete or something like that in, in the end. Um, so, all done, Captain. Cockpit ready. There you go. He's done now. That that was his uh, final message uh, for a procedure. I know now that I can continue with my other um, setting ups, and and then I can call for the B4 start procedure. Uh, it will prepare then everything for an engine startup, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, much better. Big difference and. You've seen now how easy it is uh, uh, to do it. Um, you basically go here. I'm sh showing you the two areas again. General, more options. You can, well, in theory, you can turn off talks a lot. Not in in explain though. Um, and Vox scripts, you select your Vox script and you turn off the verbose flag. Okay. Now in this case, uh, I have actually. I have turned that off already, as you can see here. Okay, and uh, that makes a really nice and quiet uh, co-pilot for you. That's it, video on demand about shutting up Dieter. <laughs> Until next time.